all right welcome back everyone to another video and in this one um it's going to be interesting so uh, the goal is to run f uh, photoshop the native arm photoshop on a raspberry pi and see if it works uh i can't say anything about the performance because you know the raspberry pi gpu drivers haven't been ported to windows yet so it's not going to be great as to running windows on the pi itself uh it's very well documented a whole other places so i'm not going to go through that i've just set up the sd card with it basically it uses a uefi as a shim a bootloader so that with according to windows everything's nice and um compliant with the sbsa and systems ready spec and other stuff like that so that windows can boot up and load up some custom drivers and get to work so uh, windows 10 on pi works fine again apart from the fact that the graphics drivers in there so the ui might feel a bit jittery um and honestly the cpu horsepower is eh um uh, it's not as bad as the pi 3 but again why would i known for all the open sales yay um stuff would run a closed source os and a closed source productivity suite app and the reason being that for an architecture to be successful it's always easier to port open source apps that's why um, literally 95% of whatever's in Debian's uh, package uh, packages is available on ARM64 and the 5% that's not available is either obsolete no one bothered to port it or it's x86 or other architecture specific and this is a big thing for um, for ARM uh, it's just when people when large companies take notice of the architecture and they put stuff to it and that costs those companies money so there's a bit of a, a monetary factor involved a sort of a stamp that says all right arms is now a serious thing to deal with so that's why um mac west uh, sorry apple did it windows did it now because they both are on arm photoshop and slowly others are finding it a bit more reasonable to expense some amount of money to port stuff to arm and that is sort of a you know a confirmation on arms part that yes they are relevant and a way to show other people like we are relevant bigger companies and serious com companies uh consumer grade companies that produce consumer grade products are actually pro grade and enthusiast products are porting their stuff to our platform so that's important to show and that's important to uh, acknowledge and living in that pure open source bubble is not going to do that. So we need to get out of that and take a look at what's happening around the world. So again, I'm just showing off the install. It's again on a Pi 4, as I said, so you can see the CPU only three gigabytes is usable. Even if you have an eight gigabyte Pi 4 like me, which is something we might get into another day that's a whole other topic i'm not going to touch today uh the video capture looks weird because i think my capture card's broken and i have no other good reason for it so hopefully further captures won't be like this uh but yes this particular one is completely broken um however um so the first thing is to install creative cloud now the reason i had to install windows 10 to get it to work uh and i couldn't just get a copy of arm 64 photoshop uh, is because it's not available and it's only available through creative cloud so i need to get all the files off of creative cloud um and the reason i need windows 10 is creative cloud is still x86 only it's not arm 64 so when you download creative cloud you are getting an x86 program that you use uh, and that you install on arm version of windows 10 that has the translation for x86 apps so first of all you're running creative cloud under x86 emulation mode and that then installs the native version of photoshop that's why i had to do oops um that's why i had to do all of this um so for some reason 
uh, downloading Creative Cloud wasn't as straightforward. I couldn't just find uh, a, a, a exe file and uh, like you know work with it. But they it's just a big paywall everywhere. Uh, you didn't used to be that way. Uh, you could download exe and just install them. Like I, I have all these apps already. All right, I'm not signed in, so Adobe doesn't know who I am. But I have. Uh, use Photoshop and I'm going to try it. I had it earlier and then I moved to all Linux setup. So I started using GIMP and Guitar and whatever the other thing is. So I didn't really need it. And again, I know the GIMP replacements and there's Guitar and there's everything else this, all that already works on ARM. But this video is not about, hey, run Photoshop on ARM. No, it's, it's about showing that, hey, companies are now starting to care. Big companies are now starting to care about the ARM ecosystem. Like, look at that CPU. It's 100% just have on, on a browser. Like, it's not good. Um, so uh, getting to the Creative Cloud EXE was hard. Uh, but actually it gives me time to speak and if you are mad how my hands are up in the air where my mouse and keyboard still is working i'm obviously overlaying this video after the fact ignoring i'm doing all the stupid screen stuff on the screen let's actually just move towards when i get the exe for creative cloud all right so i just had to like ping that site and it would automatically download it for for me um yeah, that takes a few seconds and then it gets downloaded eventually. And then you can actually, you know, just open it as any other app. Um, it takes a few seconds. Uh, I'm not going to lie. It's not perfect. Um, again, it's all in emulation. and I'm on a slow CPU, so it's it, it, it takes a few seconds, but eventually it, it gets there. The installer itself is working and this is the installer to the creative cloud. So I am just going to skip all of this because it makes no sense. There's also a lot of sign up and this and that and then it takes a while to install everything. So I'll just skip to the part that I've installed creative cloud on and about here. So creative cloud is for those who don't know is a like download manager for Adobe. All things Adobe you do it through the creative cloud app uh so you on just you go to the beta apps and you can see a photoshop beta and you click on try you don't even have to buy it again i i just need to show you guys so i don't need to do a whole lot of thing um so it, it takes a few minutes to install but the other thing is that you need to install so I, i'll skip ahead again you need to also get something called the OpenCL compatibility layer for Photoshop. Um, it's it's not for Photoshop, but it's for Windows and ARM stuff in general. I think just, just regular Windows also gets it, not sure. So it does, I think, OpenGL over DirectX or something weird like that. Um, I'm not sure if this is what the stuff Collabra was working on or whether uh, this is something different um but anyways this seems like the, that stuff but as soon as i as soon as i start checking the download the um marketplace or whatever microsoft store crashes uh luckily our um our creative cloud download is still running so we don't have to restart that but once i get the micro uh, the the store up again uh, it starts downloading and uh, yeah so you know it's about just waiting a few more minutes here all right so now the OpenCL and OpenGL stuff is installed and you get a nice notification there and the Photoshop is installed as well so I can just go ahead and click on start trial Um, yeah, there it is. It's just started up. So bring that to the foreground and yeah, yeah it, it, it thinks it's not <laughs> responding, but the CPU is just too slow and the SD card is just too slow and the memory is just too slow. So yeah, it, it regains control and then just starts loading as normal. 
So that was kind of the only one hiccup I had throughout my experience. Um, yeah, uh, now Photoshop has opened up very familiar place. There's nothing different um, necessarily about this release. Uh, I mean, maybe some UI changes, but that's all. Uh, I mean, what I mean to say, it's like it's on par with the stuff like there's on x86. There might be some functions that work slowly or I don't know, fast or stuff like that. But, you know, for the most part, it's there. Um, and because of the weird capture card situation I was having, I couldn't get the system info in detail, but you can clearly say this is, uh, the ARM64 variant of Photoshop. Um, and, uh, yeah, uh, in part, I also blame Apple for this. Uh, if, I, I don't know if Photoshop would have as quickly released, uh, Photoshop beta for Windows 10 on ARM if they weren't already preparing Photoshop for... I, um, Mac OS arm and that would have or oh, sorry Mac OS Apple Silicon and that would have um, you know maybe there would have been a bit more delay because the Windows 10 on ARM ecosystem is not that great and Apple seems to be committed on ARM so yeah uh, yeah and now I'm just doing some Photoshop things with some Photoshop logos and stuff um, so the general usable exp user experience i'm not going to talk a whole lot about it because this is not the actual experience you don't have the directx drivers for the gpu and and the directx drivers are software uh, like, like running on software so they are running on the arm cores and then which they are not a whole lot of um and then your um the OpenGL and OpenCL compatibility layers are running top of that. So whatever compute DirectX 12 has built in and, you know, then DirectX um, graphics stuff uh, gets converted to GL graphics, whatever like that gets uh, translated to from and uh, from GA over GA. But uh, you don't have a lot of that, a uh, lot of GPU horsepower and uh, it seems to struggle at times. Also, my Photoshop skills are not that great. So we'll skip over this bit. Um, but for the most part, you get a clear idea of, yes, this is real and this works. And it's a bit laggy on this particular machine. But I'm hoping for a genuine uh, Windows 10 on ARM machine. It's actually not that bad. Um yeah i'm happy that this happened and uh, that i can test it like this even though i don't have a real windows 10 on arm machine but hey it's working and it's working fine i don't blame any of it so yeah this is how you get photoshop to run on the raspberry pi i wouldn't recommend it uh, it's not a good experience if you're used to x86 and it's definitely not does not show off um, arms prowess very well uh, i hope one day like someone decides to put the pi's gpu onto windows 10 on arm uh, but till that time uh, we are left with pure cpu rendering and it's bad and it's weird um so yeah Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, under 15 minutes, that's not bad. Um, all right, see you all later. Uh, I think 15 minutes is enough. And, you know, check me out on Twitter, Instagram, wherever. And uh, I think everything's down in the description. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.